House Majority Leader Mike Terzai said this week he's willing to let that Senate-passed transportation funding bill get to a vote on the House floor. Is this what you think would finally get the legislature moving on this issue? Because we're years overdue on, on this. I mean, we all know that. It didn't happen in June. You're asking me to try and predict what the legislature I'm, I'm will asking do? You, I'm asking you because your finger's on the pulse of what's <laughs> happening at the state capitol. I'm, uh, I'm asking you, what, what do you think? I, I think? I think there's movement. There's great – there are many discussions going on. If nothing else, you have a, a majority leader who doesn't really support the bill saying he'll at least bring it up for a vote and let everybody get on well, the record. Well, I, uh, I believe that a number of people, including myself, but a number of other people have been talking to uh, – the parties involved, and that's on both sides. You know, this is not a partisan bill. This is not – it's not going to pass with just Republican votes in, in the House, uh, and, and it's not a Democrat bill. This is a public safety bill, and I think the people have to understand that. And, and I've said this stat here before. One and a half million children get on 31,000 school buses every school day in Pennsylvania, and they ride over our bridges and over our roads, 10,000 miles of roads that need to be repaired, and 4,000 bridges that at some point are structurally uh, deficient, and they've been listed that way, some worse than others. As you know, recently, because the bill didn't get done, because we can't see any additional money coming in, and in order to stretch the life of the bridge, uh, Secretary uh, Shok at the Department of Transportation started weight restricting uh, some of the bridges. That's going to cost people time and money in taking detours. Uh, um, We're already buses. hearing stories, especially right. out of uh, the farming community, that right. they're having to take longer routes to deliver the, their products. The farming community, the trucking community, the commuting community, you know, having to take 11, 12 mile detours because we didn't put the money in. And, you know, it's it's been going on. We haven't done anything to get more additional funding for the volume of traffic that's increased in Pennsylvania since I think 1997 or 98. I forget the exact date of the last real transportation bill. And it goes to the issue of, of transit also. <laughs> we came close in in, uh, in June. Um, you know, you got to find what the number is. Uh, the top number is 2.5. Our number was 1.8. But as I always remind people, uh, those are starting points, uh, and and I don't you know it's not going to be a starting point going above two point five. Trust me on that one. Uh, but you know somewhere in between is a number, and we've got to find how to get the revenue to that. Keep in mind that there was one provision that is a hundred dollar surcharge on every uh, ticket. Uh, that's you know, that's not going to fly. I I can tell you I I think you'd have a hard time. Um, getting judges and so forth to uh, even enforce that. Now, I shouldn't probably say that because they probably would, but, you know, it's we shouldn't put them in that position uh, at this point in time. It's, it's just untenable uh, to do. Can you imagine getting a, a $100 ticket and then a $100 surcharge well, on top of it? There are very – now, it's been a long time since I've gotten a ticket, but there are very few $100 tickets. They're already two, $300 if they catch you on the highway. Well, it certainly probably deter you from speeding, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it would. That would be one benefit. But uh, only 18 voting days left on the legislature's calendar no, 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 no. this year. No, no. Only 18 scheduled voting days. Okay. okay. Through, through mid-December. So there's many more days in there, isn't there? There, there are many now, more days. I don't in get there. to set – I mean, I sometimes wish I got to set the legislative calendar. The leaders do. And if the leaders care to. And if they see the necessity, they can add legislative days. So um, – you know, really, this 18 or 16 or you know, 19 days, that's a number. If we're getting close, they ought to be uh, considering and they should add uh, the days on. 